So I use Tinder not only to learn how to speak French, but to not get attached to any of the dudes I hooked up with. And it honestly was a brilliant plan. So um, I didn't speak a word of French when I moved here, which is honestly the dumbest thing I've ever done. I don't, I highly do not suggest it. <laughs> well, I think the reason it worked out well for me is because I've uh, traveled so, so much and lived in multiple countries and I've just kind of figured out how to get by. And I started taking French classes as soon as I got here. But um, most people here, even if they do speak English, they won't. And a lot of it's because of the shame and all this stuff. And also, like, they shouldn't have to, right? So um, when I was hooking up on Tinder, like, men that I was, like, legitimately interested in dating, um, they had to speak English. There's no way I'm going to have a form a real connection with someone who can't speak my native language. And my level of French is, like, that of, like, a two-year-old, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be a healthy relationship. So... Um, but what I've learned from hooking up so much in, in LA when I started my whole tender bender was that, um, I never hooked up with men who lived in LA because I didn't want to get, um, climatized. I didn't want to, you know, my pff, oxytocin and trauma responses and all that stuff to like cloud my judgment and get me dating someone who's trash just because he was really good at eating. I love my new hat so much. I'm going to be pointing at it all the time. So look at that. Um, so it was perfect when I came here because I could just hook up with guys. Didn't really have to talk to them much. I mean, we talked, but we talked in French. So I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. I would get like, like there's, a, I would have to speak French all night, which is very hard, but it's a really good way of learning language is being forced to conjugate all these freaking verbs over and over and over again and getting my <laughs> eaten, right? No emotional connection no attachment whatsoever so it, i didn't you know what i mean because i didn't trust myself one of the reasons why i got in that abusive relationship is because i got hypnotized and you know i got a little too attached to a few other men that i had hooked up with because your vision is really clouded you know especially when you have like trauma responses kicking in and all this other stuff but none of it is actual love so my judgment is so clouded it's another reason why i don't drink i don't ever want to be doing stuff with bad judgment so uh my french just went it was just taken off right i'm taking these classes and i'm being forced to speak it <laughs> and i'm learning really important words like you know schmegual words and stuff like that and so uh yeah the only problem with that is that once i met um my husband oh he's driving right now no one's Oh, hey, um, his English is so good that, and we have so much to say, like we just can't stop talking that like we are, neither one of us has the patience to speak French because our, the, the depth, the level, the, the, the depth of those conversations is just not going to be there when I'm just like, can like searching for my words all the time. Um, I, like even if I was super, super fluent in French, we would English would still be our 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 communication language because that's where we started. That's his is so good. He he beats me in in Scrabble. He beats me in English <laughs> in Scrabble. And I'm a writer. What's embarrassing? He uses words like benevolent and stuff, and I'm like. <laughs> anyway, so the the whole point of it is that. One of the things I learned when, when, if I wanted to have hookups that were fun and liberating and that I, you know, centered my pleasure and all that stuff, like how I write about, if you want to read about this whole story, how I learned how to center my pleasure, I wrote this for the Daily Beast this month. The best way for me to do that was to not have um, any kind of real attachment to this person. I don't want to date them. I don't want to, I don't care. The stakes are so much lower when you're not trying to date someone and you don't care. So I had to have parameters whether they had, when, he, when I was on my tender bender, I had, they either had to live in another town or speak another language. <laughs> because honestly, um, the this was life and death for me. I learned the hard way. I almost, you know, got from dating a man that I fell for because he's really good at eating. So uh, careful out there.